Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, this is Greg Chrysler speaking. Yes, I'm the um, honorary president of the National Cash Register Memorial Society. Yes, I'm actually calling to speak to Mayor Lee, Mayor Ed Lee, the mayor of San Francisco. Uh, yes. Um, yes, my call is about a proposal I'd like to make to create a memorial to the toxic history of Treasure Island. Um, I am working with um, a federal agency on this project. Yes, it's called the National Toxic Land Labor Service. Uh, they've actually asked me to prepare this proposal. Uh, but I thought it was of such relevance to San Francisco and some of the things that the mayor has been saying about the city that I really wanted to get in touch with him personally and put forward my proposal. Um, could I speak to the mayor? Um, well, if he's not available, um, perhaps I can show you the presentation and you could, um, you know, if you're favorably impressed, you could uh, tell him about it and get him to call me back. That would be great. Yeah. Um, well, uh, the proposal is to install a giant cash register in the center of Treasure Island. And uh, it's to commemorate two kinds of toxicity. As you know, uh, Treasure Island is a former military base. It started out its life as an international exposition, the Golden Gate International Expedition. Exposition. Then it became a naval station uh, from 1940 until 1996. Actually, it was uh, taken over by the Navy in 1940. And then in 1942, it was actually seized by the US government and uh, formally turned into Naval Station Treasure Island. And it was a very active base during the Second World War. And it, it also, uh, during the Cold War period, became very well known as a center for training in nuclear decontamination. So there were all kinds of nuclear decontamination exercises held on Treasure Island. And uh, for that reason, and because there was a lot of radiological material involved in the military during the Cold War, in any case, uh, the island is contaminated with radiological material. And uh, the Navy is currently remediating the island, uh, trying to clean it up because the island is now being transferred to a developer who plans to build a green eco-city uh, on top of what is a contaminated uh, naval base. And so um, what's been happening is uh, the people who are living on the island now who are occupying the former naval housing, they have been gradually uh, discovering all kinds of toxic materials on the island. Um, and I predict that as time goes on, more discoveries will be made because the Navy's records and discovery methods uh, will never be able to capture all the contamination that exists on the island. So I would like the uh, cash register to both commemorate the toxic past and the potential future discoveries of toxicity as time goes on. Uh, the second type of toxicity I'd like the cash register to commemorate uh, is related to the 2008 financial crisis. And uh, the prime developer of the new EcoCity is a corporation called Lennar Corporation. They are the second largest uh, home builder in the United States, and they received a, a bailout from the federal government in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis. They were considered too big to fail, uh, even though they helped to create the very conditions that caused the uh, 2008 crisis to take place. Um, so I would like the second aspect of the memorial to commemorate the very moment when the bailout legislation uh, was signed, uh, giving uh, Lennar Corporation bailout funds to allow it to continue to operate. Uh, so each year at the moment of that signing, uh, the anniversary of that signing, uh, the cash register would complete a symbolic action. So there are those two kinds of toxicity that the cash register is uh, referring to the radiological chemical toxicity of the site that's accumulated and is being redistributed across the site uh, as time goes on. 
Um, and then there's the toxic financial history of the site's prime developer and its connection to the toxic assets and toxic, to toxic asset pools uh, of the financial crisis. Um, and um, I'll just show you how the memorial actually operates from a commemorative standpoint. Um, when, for example, um, a new piece of radiological material is discovered, um, the uh, drawer of the cash register would open and green slime would be uh, emitted. A green uh, waterfall of slime would emerge from the, cra the cash register drawer. Um, this would then cast cascade down onto the site with growing intensity and eventually um, it would take over the site and produce a giant toxic pond. Uh, then at that point the cascade would stop and the pond would remain uh, for a period of hours when it could act as a um, smooth surface for commem commemorative uh, reflection. Um, the point that I want to make about the cash register memorial is that it is actually a hologram. It's using the latest in hologram technology, so it would be possible for people on the island uh, to continue with their everyday lives, even as the uh, toxic memorial was in operation. Uh, they would simply walk through the hologram of the slime. Um, and uh, as I mentioned at the start, the hologram, the uh, cash register appears to be embedded in a pile of dirt. Uh, that actually exists on the site right now. And of course, when the construction gets underway and the new eco city emerges, that dirt would gradually be removed and you would see the full base of the pavilion. Um, and the slime would not be emitted onto this playing field. It would be emitted onto the green agriculture field of the new uh, eco city development. They're planning to have green uh, agriculture, urban farming there. And um, so the slime would actually cover the urban farm uh, in its holographic way. Well, um, thank you very much for listening to my presentation. And, um, you know, I hope you're able to bring my project to the mayor. Um, I feel you know, really certain that if he sees it, it would have a good chance of uh, attracting investors and uh, moving forward very quickly. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye.